Welcome to the IMC FAMOS tutorial. In today's session, I would like to show you how quickly you can display your measurement data. With a variety of display possibilities, you always have exactly what you need right in front of you. I will show you how simple it is to navigate through your measurement data and to compare these data with a reference measurement. So let's get started. After starting the software, in the upper area of the screen, you can find the ribbon controls. Here you can find the various functions that are available. As you can see, the software is divided into four major areas. The first area, you can find the variables. Then on the right, we have the browser and input area. Next, on the bottom left, we have the function area. And on the bottom right, you can find the help area. In the variable area, you can find the loaded data as well as the results of your calculations. This could be a complete data set or simply a single value, for instance, a maximum value. In the functions area, you can find mathematical tools that help create control commands. In the input area, you can input the formulas for the calculations. Under browser, you can find a selection of pathways to choose data sets. And under help, you can find assistance to aid with the various functions. You can also adjust the software for your specific requirements. For example, you can click on the input tab and hold it. Then you are free to move the window into any position and use it as a separate window, or you can permanently dock it as a new window inside the software. For this demonstration, we will leave it as it is. Now under the browser tab, we want to load measurement data into the software. On the left side, as you can see, we have the folder labeled 101, and on the right side, we can see what is inside the folder. In this example, you can see that we have four data files, level, taco, temperature, and vibration. Next, when we double click on each file, the files then appear under the variables window, and we can see that they are now loaded into the software. Under view, we have the possibility to choose a quick view window. In this window, if you click on one of the data files, it will then automatically be displayed in the Quick View window. For demonstrating the data, the Quick View window will provide a fast method to observe the data, but for a more permanent view of the data, the panel page is more appropriate. Now, after closing the Quick View window, we click on the Tab file, then on New, then New Panel Page. Here you have the possibility to choose between different panel page formats. For example, we can choose a report page. This would provide a good format for printing the overall experiment or conclusion. For our example, we will select the format Dialog. Now we have the possibility, using drag and drop, to position our measurement data in a variety of display options. Here we're going to choose Standard. We also have the possibility to demonstrate more than one data set in a single window. That is, we can combine the data onto the same window for comparison. In this example, we have the channels temperature and vibration in one single curve window. Now we have many options when it comes to how we would like to display these data. For now, on the left and right side, we have Y axes but we can also easily change the axes using drag and drop to display only one y-axis or two directly over one another as demonstrated here. We have a variety of possibilities to display the data in the curve window as can be seen in other tutorials. Next I would like to demonstrate the overview window. This window allows you to view the overall data set during the zoom function of the data in the lower curve window. To open the Overview window, right-click with the mouse, then choose File, then Overview Window. There are a variety of zoom functions that can be used. For instance, you can use the mouse wheel to zoom in or out, or you can use the symbols that appear when you hover over one of the axes. When you go back to the browser, you can see that like in the folder 101, 
the other subsequent folders also display the same measured variables. Thus, when you open the other folders, you can see that the same measurements were performed at different times. Now we want to load the entire set of measurement folders into the software. Therefore, we select all of the folders, then we simply click on one of the arrows between the folder symbol and its name. In the variable window, under the standard tab, the data sets will appear and under the measurement tab, you can see a similar structure as in the data browser. Now, if we go back to the panel page, when we click on the various data folders, you can see that the different data sets will appear in the curve windows. This is a useful function to get a first-hand overview of the difference between the data sets within a measurement series. The last thing I would like to demonstrate for today is that you can define, for example, measurement 101 as a reference measurement. This means that you can compare this specific measurement with all of the others. To do this, simply click on the turquoise button next to measurement 101 to make it the reference. Next, for example, we click on the second measurement to highlight it. Then using drag and drop, we lay it on top of our measurement 101 in the curve window. Now we can easily compare the differences between the two. For comparing the other measurements, now all we have to do is simply click on the measurement and it will appear in the same window as our reference measurement. That's all for today's tutorial. Thanks for your attention and stay tuned for the next IMC FAMOS tutorial.